we would look for something that was under $100,000 of value because generally if it was less than $100,000 of value, the government would, wouldn't require any past performance. So we wouldn't have to prove that we had delivered similar items to the government in the past and we would, we would be capable of bidding on it. So each solicitation is approximately 30 to 40 pages of dense government legalese and they refer to uh, other regulations that are uh, associated with this particular item. So we generally look through hundreds of these solicitations every day and we would actually try to bid on a few of them, usually between two to five we'd find that might be interesting per day. So if you're looking for a particular class of item, you could type it into the uh, keyword section of, this, of the FBO search and then you could see all the solicitations up for that product. So, for example, you could type in ammunition and now you have a listing of all the different types of ammunition that the government was searching for. And then we would, once we found some that, that we thought we could win, we would have to search for all the suppliers and build extensive uh, spreadsheets to make sure that we had the best possible price as well as working out all the logistics of how to deliver it from the source to where it needed to go. The first contract I won was for 50,000 gallons of propane. I, I made a total of $7,000 on that, which was a, a nice way to start. American Greed, Mondays, premiere episodes, 10 Eastern, CNBC, get yours. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you'll find videos from all your favorite CNBC shows. Be sure to subscribe by clicking right here. Click on the videos around me and watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.